It's not just radio, it's Rockland World Radio. RocklandWorldRadio.com Alright, now, I turned this on this laptop here. <laughs> it's not that, it's very complicated. Why? It just is. <laughs> they change. see now, Facebook has changed their layout. If you did not choose to look at the new layout, you're missing this. This is a whole new layout. I don't know if I like it yet. But we will, um, we'll see if I like it. Okay, so I'm going to write my comments. Just so I can, yeah, mm-hmm. I'm going to write my own comment right now. And, Rockland. So did you know, you can go on Rockland World Radio. Okay, I put, I put them in the comment section. You can click on Rockland World Radio right now, dot com. You can download, they have all great programming on there. He's got awesome stuff. So you can actually, if you have nothing to do, have something to do. So definitely check out Rockland World Radio, dot com. And you can check that out. All right, so got my... Notes. One, two, three. Three pages today. My God. All right. So, it's Friday. At least we've made it through the week of being quarantined in our houses. Thumbs up. All right. So, here's my topics. Creative content is definitely going to be one of them because we need help with that. A lot of people need help with that. Now, if your business is shut down, this is not the time to stop doing social media. That's like a mistake that most businesses will make. Because I can understand you're upset and you don't know what's going to happen and you had to worry about your employees and you have to worry about what's going on. I get it. But you have to at least take at least some time during the week to worry about your social media right now. So we will talk about that. Um, also, I will talk about some other stuff that I'm creating and things that I want to present to everybody and also I will go through some trending stuff so the one thing that I, I keep seeing trending right now on um, is the spring break children um, from uh, yesterday and this is all I can say the apple probably doesn't fall that far from the tree because how dumb are your parents to let you go on spring break when there's the coronavirus spreading out and it's breaking out everywhere and you kids look ignorant. How the hell did you get in college in the first place? I would like to know. Because you look stupid. Oh, I don't care about it. I get corona. I don't get corona. No, it's not about you getting it, you dumbass. It's about you spreading it and giving it to other people. My God. And I just want to say how stupid those kids were to actually be interviewed live in person with their faces because when they're going to look for jobs I guarantee you that video is going to surface guarantee that video will surface you don't want to say something stupid like that and be on video it's all over social media everybody saw it it's not just like one person saw it or maybe a thousand people saw it millions of people saw it and they saw you being interviewed by CBS News and they saw you on social media it's on Twitter that's where I actually saw it from first and then it got on Facebook. How stupid are you? See? Stupid. Alright, and then I want to talk about sports. So, since we have the lack of therefore, I just want to say this to every single professional athlete out there. This, this time right now that you're not playing sports, you're not playing your sport, you're not practicing your sport, you're probably working out, which I hope you are. But, this is the time for you to get your ass on Twitter, on Instagram, because those are the two places that they mostly are. They're probably not on Facebook. On Instagram and Twitter, and engage with the fans that support you. Don't worry about the stupid damn trolls that tell oh, you suck. Don't worry about them. Screw them. Don't just ignore them. But all those fans out there that support you, and are there for you, and have been tweeting you, and have been messaging you on Instagram, and have been posting, where the hell are you? I understand you have to worry about your families, but you can take an hour of your goddamn day right now and concentrate on building a great relationship with those fans. You don't understand how social media works. I get it, because I say it. 
But this is the time when you should be on social media and you should be making a difference. People, I'm telling you, when you guys come back, okay, and sports is back on, I will guarantee you that mostly about 95% of the people will appreciate you more. You always have the 5% who will still tell you you suck. But you will have 95% of people now understand that you're not a robot. You are a human. You're a human being. You could, some of them have gotten the coronavirus. We understand. See, I think it maybe clicks in people's heads now. But this is the time for you to engage with your fans. You know, you don't have to do it on, and I don't, I, I don't, you don't have to do it on your, um, on your team's Twitter account. You have your own freaking accounts, people. It's not that complicated. Just engage. Someone says something, you answer back. Someone says, oh my god, I miss hockey, I miss you, I can't wait to see, I can't wait to see you, hope you're safe. Say, I hope you're safe too. How difficult is this? This is your time to do that. And I don't see that many athletes out there actually doing it. I don't know what the hell you all doing, playing video games 24-7? But I mean, come on, get up off your butt and do something. You, people, fans have told you that they miss watching sports. You know, the NFL right now is having their time. They're, have, they're actually shining a lot more with free agency. But, I mean, besides all that, come on. Get up off your butts and do something. Engage with your freaking fans. All right. So, let's see. Oh, and dating apps. So, dating apps now are, like, being used less, obviously, because of coronavirus, because people can't be in bars and restaurants and meet in person. But they are doing FaceTime, which you should have been doing in the beginning. You meet somebody online... They tell you who the hell they are. You, you don't know who the hell they are. They have all these stupid names. I've, I've seen all the names that some people call themselves on these dating apps. Ridiculous. Um, they come up with some, you know, sometimes of like, you know, classy names, whatever. It's stupid. Just, you know, my name is Steph. Steph, you know, whatever my numbers are. You know, 407. Stop, you know, you know, whatever. But you should always be FaceTiming people you meet online. Especially dating apps. To know, A, they're legit. B, they're not in another relationship. C, they're not trying to scam you. And B, you get to know who the hell they are. It's just easier, and it's just common sense. I know we don't have common sense, but there you go. And I really wouldn't be on dating apps to begin with anyway, as you know, my whole entire saga, you know, my whole entire point, which you will get to know, because now that I have more time, since I'm stuck here in my house, I am going to be even writing my book even faster. So, hopefully that's going to be one of the accomplishments for next week. But, okay, so that takes care of that. Oh, oh, wait, I had another one written down. Okay, so, um, oh, yes, and for all you parents who have your children at home with you, don't yell at your kids that often. Don't yell at for every, don't be nitpicking every little thing. Pick that up, put that there, don't do that, don't do, don't do that. Don't do that. It, it's hard for your kids, too, okay? You may not think it's hard for your kids, but your kids are used to being with other kids every day, five days a week, eight hours a day. You know, they're supposed to be doing sports or other activities. They're not doing that. They're suffering just as well as you are as an adult. So have, you know, have just be a little kind. Have some more kindness towards your kids. I know kids are pains in the asses. Trust me, I've taught for a very long time. I know. I have a niece and nephew. I know. I had so my little cousins grow up. I know. They can be pains in the asses, but at the same time, have a little little respect for your kids. You know, let them FaceTime their friends. Let them either on the a laptop or on your phone if they have their phones. Um, don't yell at them that they're on the computer too often. Make sure they're on the computer though to learn, not just play. But don't yell at them. You know. We're all going through this together, and your kids are a part of that, too. Okay, so I did that one. You can throw that piece of paper away. <laughs> all right. Uh-oh. Where'd the thing go? <laughs> all right, there we are. <laughs> I'm like, oh, my God, I, I pushed my mouse. I'm like, where did it go? All right. Okay, so actually, I want to say this. Now, social media has its negativities. There's negative things about social media. Misinformation, people spreading, whatever, saying whatever they want. We get it. But just think about this. We're all going through this coronavirus quarantine stay home thing together. 
social media is actually being the thing that's going to help us get through this because we actually do get to connect with people even though we're not in person you're still being able to connect with people virtually so enjoy it see if you can make actual friendships with new people on social media you never know what can happen um but social media is something that we're all connected to which brings me to what i'm going to talk about now which is businesses with creative content all right so here's some ideas about creating your content and now really being creative because now is the time when you're going to have your audience actually in front of you because they have nothing else to do if their work is closed and they're not doing anything they're online and most of the time even when you work from home even though you should not be online that many that long they are um, and speaking of that if you do work from home one of the tips I will give you is do not waste hours and hours on Facebook and Twitter and all those places um, you know scrolling and looking at things mm -mm, that's a no-no um, take some time to look at it and um, and see it but only on your lunch break all right. so let me move my stuff out of here all right so here's some stuff all right so art projects this is good you can do how to art projects so you can physically show people in a video under two minutes it's good for artists and it's good for teachers so if you're an artist and you do painting and you paint things you can show people using your cell phone just get a little just get an easel or a tripod to put your phone on and show people how you do things art project so I have some things here for kids I'm gonna create these actual videos for you by the way so I'm gonna create content and put it up on my platforms so you'll see it on my Facebook you'll see it on my Twitter you'll see it on my YouTube Pinterest and Instagram okay now I grab my stuff all right Fruit Loops not just to just put in a bowl and eat for kids ready so you get a Fruit Loops, there's Oreos, there's Cheerios, anything with a circle. Any cereal with a circle. Okay. For my days of teaching. Okay. Now, depends on what you have in the house. So, if you have thread, if you have yarn, or you have elastic, you cut a little amount, you measure their necks so they can make Fruit Loop, Cheerio, Oreo necklaces, right? Um, you can have them learn Fruit Loops is better because you can do different colors. See, so it's the whole thing about teaching kids colors. So you're also teaching them about purple and green and blue and yellow and red. All right. Okay. All right. So, and then you get them, you put it in a cup, and you have them string it on their string. And then they can tie it and then they can eat it. Remember those little um, candy necklaces that we used to have as a kid? I think they still can make them. Uh, you can make those. It's good for preschool and kindergarten, even first grade. It's good for what's called fine motor skills. Since they're not in their classroom doing this kind of stuff now, they can do it at home. And it's fun to do, and adults can even do it. So, and you don't have to go crazy because you should have thread, sewing thread in your house. That's all you need. You don't really need to go crazy. You don't need to order a lot of stuff from Amazon either. Okay. Everybody has paper towels. This is what I used to do in preschool. So I'm telling you now. Paper towel. Watercolor. If you don't have watercolor, you have food coloring. Mix food coloring, a few drops, in about eh, this much water to make it a little bit more. You don't want it to have to be too thick. They can, they can you do on a paper towel. They can watercolor a paper towel. It is really cool. Let it dry, and then it becomes, ready, wrapping paper. So that's what we used to do when we had Mother's Day. You know, I would have them do this, and this would be their homemade wrapping paper. Things for them to do. Things for you to do. You can have a storage box. You can have them decorate the outside of the box, either with fabric marker. I wouldn't use Sharpies. Um, stickers and glue. Glue, glitter, whatever your heart's content. So then they can make their own little storage box. These things are gold. Toilet paper rolls. Because you can do so many different things with them. I will tell you in the video what to do with them. You can make pictures on any kind of paper. 
don't go out and don't go crazy and get regular paper. And then you can use what's called contact paper, cover it, and now they have placements. I mean, these are things that I will make, but these are good things for art teachers, art projects for preschool teachers, kindergarten, first grade, um, and artists. If you're an artist and you do something that's artsy, you can now show everybody what you do. All right. Read books. So I did, did it on my other Facebook page. I read, um, Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus. So teachers and authors, if I'm an author, I can have a whole entire video of me just reading segments of my book. And then we can have a discussion virtually on the, on the book. Um, you, can do, you can definitely set up a chat online and do a Facebook chat on what you read. Different ideas. Home fitness. So this is for trainers, sports, athletes, and gyms, gym owners. Home fitness. You don't need to have equipment in order to work out. You can show them little tips of the, of the trade. Um, recipes. Good for restaurants, teachers, and bloggers. So especially if restaurants, if you are actually had to close and you don't do takeout, it's good to actually, in your home, just set up your camera, just set up your phone on a tripod or on a little easel, and... Or have somebody help. If you have somebody living with you, that's even better. They can hold the camera while you tell them how to make something. And show them how to do simple things with ingredients that are already in their houses. Um, hair salons and spas. Now that you're closed here in New York, and I think you're closed in New Jersey, in Connecticut, in Pennsylvania, I think also California. Um, here's what you can do. Self-care videos of how to. So how to color your hair. How's the, what's the best way to do it while you're home? Um, what's the best way to paint your nails? What kind of products do you use that they should use? So it's also good, and then you can have another thing. You can have another Facebook chat and chat with your customers on Facebook. Ask them a question. Um, some dance lessons. So I'm going to do, actually on TikTok, I'm going to do choreography class for cheerleading. So if you're a cheer coach, dance coach, if you have a dance studio, voila. But under two minutes, don't make the video that long where people are going to be, they're not going to watch the whole thing. Unless you're doing a workshop, that's a different story. Um, tips, any kind of tips that you can give them no matter where your business is, any kind of tips, you can educate the consumer as to what different services you have and why your services is great. And humor. Now, be careful with the humor. Because some people have a dry sense of humor. Some people get offended quickly. So just pick something that's not going to be too controversial. Um, and then also, the best thing you can do also is you can give them just a little, you know, behind-the-scenes footage of inside your life working from home now. Here's my office, like I just said. Here's my office. Here's what's behind me, you know, why I have it there. Just little things. Make yourself more human. Tell people who you are, what you're doing. Though so that's what creative content is. It's thinking outside the box. It's not just doing sell, sell, sell. It's creating content that is going to engage other people and be engaging. You know, it's gonna you're gonna engage people. So you want to do that. Um, all right, Damson. Okay, all right. That takes care of this. All right, so what I'm going to be trying to do next week is I'm going to create a free workshop just on this, on creating content, answering questions for any business out there that has any types of questions. I'm going to be using Zoom, so I'm going to try to figure out how I'm going to do that right now. So I'm still trying to figure that out, but what, and that will be free. So um, I will do free workshops for businesses. Um, and then also, if you want to do a 30-minute consultant, my fee is usually high, but for this, I will just and then I will just do it $25. So $25 to talk to me for a half hour. You pay me first through PayPal before we talk. Um, I'll give you my PayPal, my PayPal information, all that kind of stuff, and it will be you will have a virtual social media consulting half hour with me, and I will go through your Facebook page, or your Twitter, or your Instagram, or whatever you want me to go through, for just $25, if we have to do that. Um, and I cut my fee 
extremely cut my fee for that because I want to be able to help people. So that's also why I'm going to do some free workshops. Now, I'm also thinking about creating a Kickstarter. So I was going to do GoFundMe, but I don't, I don't like GoFundMe that much. Kickstarter is more for, like, you know, creators. So um, I want to raise some money for those who don't have money right now. So I thought I'd do something with, um, you know, free products, pre free prizes. So I'm trying to work out the logistics of that, of what I'm going to actually do. Not sure yet what I'm doing. But I want to try to do something like that. Um, it, I think that would be very, very definitely beneficial for a lot of people, because um, a lot of people right now are scared and they're trying and they're filling out unemployment and they're they don't know what they're doing and they don't understand what they're doing and they don't know where they're gonna go and I feel really bad for all those people. So paying it forward as best I can. So I thought, hey, I can create a T-shirt and I can sell a T-shirt. And everybody can give me money for a t-shirt and buy a t-shirt. I can give t-shirts out as prizes. I'm creating a whole new um, business line. So I have mugs and t-shirts and that kind of stuff. I can do that. I can give free workshops on social medias as prizes. I can give Amazon gift cards as prizes. The list goes on. So I'm trying to think how I'm going to do that. That may take me another week. Because I also have to do a little bit more writing this week. And speaking of writing... This is a great time for all of you to go over your grammar. Because grammar counts on social media. See the difference? See, know your or know your. There you go. This book is so good. The guy from Barnes & Noble. You can probably get it on barnesandnoble.com. Uh, <laughs> they haven't have jokes in it. So one of them was, knock, knock, who's there? To, to who? No, to whom? <laughs> I'm, I'm a writer. I think that's funny. Sorry if you don't find that funny. Um, but yeah, so I thought that was really funny. Um, so there's those types of things to do. So like I said, we'll just review. There's a lot of different things that we can do online. Right now, social media is the place for you to be. If you have a business, if you're a brand, if you're not making money, it's now a good place to learn how. And speaking of that... I think I'm going to start tweeting the athletes probably this weekend and tell them what they're worth on Twitter because I just told somebody else on Twitter two days ago Instagram is not the place to be to do influencer marketing anymore. Influencer marketing is now shifting to Twitter. Twitter's wide open now. Twitter's where everything's going. People may, are posting their freaking selfies now on Twitter. Like they used to be posting their selfies on Instagram. No. They're going to Twitter. So, Twitter's a really hot commodity. Now, does that mean that you need to have a Twitter? No. Not for your business. Personally, you can have a Twitter. And personally, you can do lots of different things with it. Now, if your business is something like where you can, you're selling a product and you can ship that product, you know, worldwide or, you know, to different states, then yes, Twitter's for you. But if you are a local little business, a little bakery shop, and you don't ship your your baked goods, then you don't need Twitter. That's what people don't understand. Like, Twitter's more of a national platform than Facebook, than Instagram, than Pinterest. Even Pinterest. You know, Pinterest is also more of a national. So, you have Pinterest and you have Twitter. Those are the national ones. But it also, Pinterest, what also Pinterest does is it helps your SEO. A lot of people don't realize that, that social media helps your SEO. It helps you in many, many ways. And you all should also be on LinkedIn right about now because now's the time to do that. All right. And then let's see. Um, well, oh, so all my content will be found on YouTube. You can find other stuff on Anchor. I'm all over the place. Um, so um, you can find it everywhere. And I think that's pretty much what I'm, I'm just going to say for today. Oh, oh. Now, see, I have to put everything on my bed here. Okay. So, yes, I have this notebook. So, I've started to do a create content, creative content journal. Now, this is a good idea for all of you out there to create. So, keep a journal of different things that you would like to post. 
Then you go online and you search for things that look similar to it. You don't want to copy people. You want to have your own style. But it's easy when you, when you write it down because sometimes we all forget. So it's best to just make sure that you write it down. So, for example, I wanted to do an art project, so I can just write down art projects, and then I can go, hmm, what kind of projects do I want to do? And I thought, oh, my Fruit Loops necklace. That was always a big hit. Oh, my my paper towel uh, rainbow. That was always a big hit. Um, and then write it down, keep it in your journal, and then this way you have it to then know what you're going to post. Um, and even if, you know, and I love seeing um, people right now posting stuff like funny jokes and stuff to get us through this all, um, that's great. You know, we have to little, we have to put the politics aside right now. Just put them aside and um, don't worry about politics right now. It's not going to change what's happening now, by the way. And we need to just be a little bit kinder to people online, especially even in person. And especially don't go to the grocery store and hoard everything. Oh uh, my god, the grocery stores by me are like, they were crazy. And they still are. I mean, one of the stop and shops by me still does not have toilet paper and paper towels. Luckily, we have, I have tons of grocery stores around here, so we don't really, you know, we, we don't rely on one. But imagine if you hadn't relied on one supermarket. Just think about that. And, you know, think about other people. Remember, pay it forward. Because that's the only way that we're going to get through this is by being kind to each other and appreciating, I think now, I think we're going to appreciate life a little bit more, because we, yeah, I think the universe thought that, see, I'm telling you, karma, karma, and I am celebrating my birthday in June, July, and August, not just April 7th, April 7th is my actual birthday, I will be celebrating it, but I'm going to be celebrating it in June, July, and August now, I've just decided that today, I just told somebody on Twitter that. All right, and that takes care of everything that I had to talk about. You can watch this replay here on Facebook. I'm going to take it and hopefully put this on YouTube for my laptop. Because we don't know how this works. On laptop and Facebook, I go, of course, changed how they do everything on this lovely page. If not, if this won't be on YouTube, it will just be on Facebook. And then I'll just share it on all my other Facebook pages. But I will be doing a... Same thing I'm doing here, I'm going to do on Anchor, so it's just a podcast that you can listen to. Again, going through all the different tips that I just gave you you now. All right, so thanks for watching. Stay safe. Stay home. And we'll all get through this, and I will see you next week from my home office. (laughs) All right, bye, everybody. Thanks for watching. It's not just radio. It's Rockland World Radio. RocklandWorldRadio.com